Hello, Mayor Rosalind Bliss here with my monthly video update. Um, just a few things to share with you after a very busy uh, month, I would say. Actually, it's been a pretty busy uh, year so far. Um, so the first one is I want to give you a, a quick update. Um, since the terrible killing of George Floyd and uh, really the people who've come out with their concerns and their outrage and their uh, anger about police brutality. Um, many protests here in our city that we've seen and continue to see. Uh, if you haven't been following the city commission, we have taken a number of actions. Actually, our city manager who oversees the police chief and our uh, director of public oversight and accountability. At our last city commission meeting, over 20 reform actions were shared with the city commission. Those actions are being worked on right now. We'll have an update at our city commission meeting on July 7th. Uh, so we have two meetings in July scheduled with the city commission and at both of those commission meetings we'll have updates. Uh, those will be electronic, uh, virtual as I should say, uh, similar to what we've done over the last few months and that's because we continue to be concerned over COVID-19 and still living in a world where we are dealing with a pandemic. Uh, so if you want more information on what we are doing and some of the work ahead as we work on police reform and how do we really transform and reimagine policing, not just in our community, but you know, communities all over this country are having this conversation. You can tune into those meetings coming up. Uh, speaking of COVID-19, we still are dealing with COVID-19 and our restaurants are starting to open at a limited capacity. I encourage every single one of you as you start to move about more and as we no longer live under a stay at home order to please practice the precautions that our medical community is encouraging us to do. So when you go out, please follow the guidelines. Wear your mask when you are out and about. Uh, make sure you're washing your hands, using hand sanitizer, keeping your distance from folks. Those are really important precautions. Uh, we have a lot of bars and restaurants who've already had um, an employee test positive and they have closed back down as they sanitize and increase their cleaning. But we want everyone to stay safe. We want to make sure that we're preventing another spike in the number of cases. And we all need to do our part to make sure that we're able to do that so that our economy can open back up safely. A couple other things. Things. As we get into the holiday weekend, uh, we have July 4th ahead of us. I hope you enjoy the holiday, um, but also that you stay safe. Um, please, if you're using fireworks, please use those safely. Our fire department and fire chief have been out and about because we're very concerned about people's safety, but also that people are following the rules and only utilizing fireworks when the state actually allows. I've gotten a lot of calls here at my office. I want to remind you, um, it's a state law that changed that allows uh, the fireworks that we're seeing today. So if you have concerns, please call your state legislators. And then one other update, uh, we have an important election coming up on August 4th. It's a primary election. Uh, there's a number of folks who are on the ballot. Uh, if you're not comfortable coming to the polls in the precinct, you can always get an absentee ballot. You can do that easily by calling 311 or calling our clerk's office or even going online to get that. Uh, so if you feel more comfortable voting from home and mailing in your ballot, I encourage you to do that. Um, so with that, I hope you enjoy the rest of this day. And again, please stay safe with this holiday weekend.